Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome here with Got That Funk. How you doing? This morning, I was made aware of something which has disturbed me greatly, and I wanted to come and vent a little bit about it with you, my lovely audience, and ask your opinions as to whether or not you think I'm overreacting. All right, now, some of you might already be aware of this uh, new app that's due to come out online uh, sometime in November, if uh, the, the creators get their way. The app is called People. And the purpose of the app is to allow you and me and anyone else who signs up for the app uh, to rate the people that we know on a one to five star basis. So a one star rating would be a poor rating, a five star rating would be an awesome rating. And you can rate people you know according to three categories of acquaintance. You can either rate people that you know personally, you know, friends and whatever. Uh, you can rate people that you know professionally and you can rate people that you know romantically. Okay, now what could possibly go wrong with this? I'll give you a minute. The creators of the app uh, seem to think that uh, it's a really, really good idea because they point out that there's already apps where you can rate restaurants and you can rate hotels and you can rate college professors even, so why can't we rate one another? Uh, you know, if you're thinking about hiring a babysitter or, you know, uh, you want to find out more about your neighbor or whatever, uh, it, whether or not there's someone you might like to associate with, you might want to be able to look them up on the line and, and see what other people have said about them. So they, th they seem to think that it's a really good idea. Yeah, like, like gossip is always correct, right, uh, for one thing. It just blows me away. They actually seem to, they, they seem to genuinely think that this is a good idea. Um, and from their point of view as app creators, it might be a good idea because there is a definite potential for them to get super rich if this app takes off. That's another issue. Let's talk about the app itself. I see so much scope for malevolent behavior if this app goes online uh, that it takes my breath away to think that uh, it might actually happen. Um, now, you can be put on the app without your knowledge or consent. If someone puts a rating about you on the app, you're, you don't get to take it down. You don't get a say in what they say about you. You don't get a say in whether or not it remains online. That all by itself is disturbing, but more disturbing than that from my point of view is this. Let me just tell you a little bit of the criteria about how you get onto the app in the first place. In order to get onto the app, you have to have a Facebook account using your real name. You gotta be over the age of 21 years old and you've got to provide your mobile phone number as well. Now, Facebook itself admits that 25% of all Facebook accounts are either duplicate accounts or false accounts. You know, people using internet persona names, or, uh, or, or whatever, uh, fake accounts completely, uh, you know. So that's 25% of Facebook is false, and I'm not sure how the creators of this app uh, will be able to ascertain whether or not someone is using their genuine real name or whether it's an alias, you know, fake account. How are they gonna make that, you know, distinction? I've got no idea. But let's give them the benefit of the doubt and say 100% will always be real people using their real name and providing their real phone number, and they're all over 21. Okay, let's just give them the benefit of the doubt that everybody using the service uh, will fit the criteria legitimately. Um, once you post a review of someone, not only does that review go online instantaneously if it's positive, but along with that review, you are posting their mobile phone number. In other words, you're dropping docs on someone without their knowledge or consent. I would be livid if someone posted my phone number on the internet without my permission. I would be angry at one of my acquaintances or friends if they gave my phone number out to someone else that I knew, but I didn't know they were giving them my phone number. I choose who has my phone number. No one has the right to give my phone number out without my knowledge or consent. Even my best friends wouldn't presume that it was okay to give my phone number out unless they knew I wanted that person to have my phone number. So, all by itself, that's one issue, which I just think is abhorrent, but it doesn't stop there. If you give someone a negative rating, say one star or two stars, those are deemed by the creators to be negative ratings. And I would politely suggest that anything less than a five star rating would come to be seen as a negative rating. But let's just say that you get a negative rating, a one or two star rating, you, no matter what number of stars you rate someone, you're also going to be able to give a little verbal description about why you gave them that rating and on what basis. So if you get a negative rating, one or two stars, uh, the application will text you on your mobile phone because they had to give their your mobile phone number in the first place to give you a rating. 
The application will then text you on your mobile phone to notify you that so-and-so has put a negative rating about you on people and you have 48 hours uh, to contact that person and to hash it out with them, you know, to, to either get them to retract their entry about you completely or to revise it upwards so that it's not so disapproving. To improve your rating, I suppose, from a one or two stars to a three, four or five stars. Let's just say you can't get a hold of them in 48 hours. Tough. You've got that negative rating forever. Let's just say you do get a hold of them, but you can't talk them into improving your rating. Tough. After 40 hours, it goes on there forever. What's your only alternative going to be? Your only alternative is going to be to fight fire with fire, to, to join the app. This is, how, this is an insidious way they plan to grow the app, you see, because if you want to respond to any sort of negative rating, you have to join the app in order to respond to it. And once you've responded to it with a negative rating, and then people might look up and say, oh, you know, uh, Jill has given Bob a, a negative rating, but when I look at what Bob said about Jill, he said even worse things about Jill. Who, who are you going to call? Who are you going to believe? You're going to believe Jill or Bob? On what basis? It's virtually useless. Virtually useless. There's so much scope for malevolence and almost no beneficial aspects to this app whatsoever. I hope the creators get sued into oblivion. I hope that uh, nobody ends up committing suicide because of this app. I hope, frankly, that this app never sees the light of day. This is a bad idea from start to finish. And the most ironic thing about it, from my point of view, is the creators who seem to think that it's okay to uh, uh, create a scope for people to uh, be malevolent towards other people and say nasty things about them, have taken so much heat on their own personal Twitter accounts that they've had to delete their personal Twitter accounts and They've had to delete the Twitter account they created for this app. And they've had to take down the Facebook page that they created to promote this app because it was taking too much negative commentary on the page. So they can't even take the negative heat that they're inviting other people to dish out on other people. Fuck these people. They deserve no respect. They don't deserve this app to take off. I would implore you not to sign up to people if it does hit the market. Even if someone puts you on it with negative commentary. Don't fall for it. Don't let them grow it by, by way of retaliation. This is just a bad idea from start to finish. It deserves to fail. I hope it fails. In fact, I hope it never sees the light of day. What do you guys think? Uh, am I overreacting here? I, I seriously see it, uh, just another way to uh, sort of stratify people on the internet. You know, I'm a 3.6. What are you? Well, I'm a 5.1 or I'm a 4.9. You know, it's just nuts. There's, there's virtually nothing redeeming about it. Again, let me know. Am I overreacting? What problems do you see with this app that I haven't mentioned? I'd love to hear what you've got to say in the comment section below. I want to thank you for watching this video. And until next time, may the force be with you always.